have some business for you, Charles. As you desire. My sister Margaret is to marry the King of Portugal. I want you to escort her and her dowry to Lisbon and give her away in my name. Why me? I need someone I can trust. <laughs> you trust me with a beautiful woman? With my sister? Of course I trust you. Why shouldn't I? In any case, you're already betrothed to... What's her name? <laughs> I can't keep up. Elizabeth Gray. She's the cousin of the Marquess of Dorset. Exactly. I'm honored by Your Majesty's trust, but there's still a difficulty. I'm not important enough to give away the sister of a king, let alone the king of England. That's why I'm making you a duke. Duke of Suffolk. How does that please your grace? of Portugal. I've heard he also has gout. They say his spine is deformed. He walks like a crab. Promise me something, brother. I'll agree to marry him on one condition. That when he's dead, which can't be long, I can marry whom I choose. Agreed? Not drinking today, Charles. Should I say your grace? We should definitely call him by his real name, which is cunt or villain. Why? We're supposed to be friends, Charles. Aren't we still? Not if you don't show us favor. It's within your gift to ask his majesty to give us some titles, or at least some land. Seems everything the king has to give, he's given to you already. Jealous? Naturally. As you rise, so too should we. So what can we do for you? Your grace. Show me some respect. The king. My dear sister. Fare you well on your journey. Remember, the king of Portugal, your future husband, loves and respects you. Must love him in return. Remember your promise. When he dies, I'll marry whom I choose. Charles, as you love me, take care of her. I will. I have no doubts. I shall treat her as if she were my own sister. God be with all of you, and remember your duties to my lady and to England. Let us pray. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Exaudi nos Domini.